Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm blessed by the best. Uh-huh, what do you got for me? Well, there was someone that follows you. Um, and he asked me, we were in his live, and he asked me, had I heard of someone named Kevin Samuel? So I said, no. So I went to your page and I was listening to some of the stuff that you were, um, or your conversations with. Can you uh, hold the camera still, please? The dog, get the dog off me, please. Come here, get the dog. Get, get, get him, down. get him. Thank you. Okay, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So, I went on and I was listening to some of your conversation that you were having. Uh-huh. Ma'am, do you have with, a question? Uh, can you ask me a question? Sure. I said, do you have a question? I mean, I... I... Yeah, th this is my question. Because as I listen to your content and your conversation, to me, mm -hmm. and I'm not being judgmental, but what I notice is that most of the ladies that you talk to are young younger women mm -hmm. and usually if your words your words when you're speaking to someone it should be to inspire educate and uplift but to me just listening to What's what you question? were saying what, what you uh, do you have women issues because it seems like you do that's not a question that's a judgment do you have women issues that is the question do you have do i have women issues yeah, okay, see, this, how we, like this, how, this is how we're going to do this. I was, I'm being polite. I'm trying to let you speak, but you got okay, a point. So, you got a point. So you asked me, did I have a question? That was my question. Yeah, yeah. do I have women issues? No. You don't? No, and that, and, I, and that goes, and how long have you been watching my content? L long enough. No, apparently not. I mean, because I'm, I'm watching what you No, what, man, no you apparently posted. not, because I have over Because you... Okay. Go ahead. I'm what, sorry. I apologize. Go ahead. Go ahead. What, what I don't, are you saying? I don't know you. Okay. And what I'm trying to let you understand is I have over 800 videos. And if you've watched a handful, what you've already come in and shown me is you've not watched my content thoroughly and definitely not in good faith. If you come through, ask me if I have woman issues. Well, I mean, I don't think I have to watch all 800. No, I didn't say you had to watch all 800. If you just watched about five of them, there'll be plenty. Because you know what? In the last six months, because of my work, eight black couples have got together in three engagements. How can a man with woman issues have a, have that have their result? Okay, no, so would no, you no, say no, that you... No, 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 uh -huh. ma'am. So that, uh -huh. just, that goes to disprove what you're talking about. There are plenty of videos that are up. Uh, that show me talking to men and women the same way. But the question on the floor tonight is why are modern women so bad at relationships? Well, can I say something to you first off? We've already, I've a already, lot let, of you, a I've lot already of let you, I've already let you say what you have to say, but I have a show and the polite thing to do would be to respond to at least the question that's on the show. Are you married? Right. Am I married? Mm -hmm. Are you married? I'm going to ask you one more time, and if not, I can bid you a good night. Oh, so so the narrative is if 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 I'm not. Are you married? Yes. If you're not going to, what does that, not, but not what does do, that matter? Going to do I, okay, not, I'll say this much: I choose not to be in a relationship. Where's Jeff? Oh my God. And you wonder. What up, dog? Get the dog off of me. Oh my God. You can't make this shit up. I choose not to be married. <laughs> she said, do you have woman issues? And I'm like, look, homeboy. Uh, you're the last person that, do you have problems with people uh, do you have people questioning whether you were naturally born a woman it's the real question <laughs> oh my god this is why i don't deal with older women because the, women like her are disingenuous this woman has not watched my content she came over here with that long drawn out 
Well, I'm going to try to just get to the insult, lady. Get to the insult so you can actually prove yourself and show yourself to be exactly what people over here know you are. And these are the women have, that have been speaking in the black community, unchecked, unexamined for 50 years. 50. These are the women who've had the microphone. These are the women who have raised a generation of women who to be harder and a generation of men to be softer. But when they're starting to look at those final years by themselves, you got a woman sitting up there with curly fries on her head questioning me when you know she's sitting there thinking about salt. That ain't too far away. And now they're mad. They're mad because it's like, I don't know you. I don't know you and I didn't do what, I didn't, I didn't make your life the way it is. I mean, just pissed. I choose not to be married. Uh, looking like the seventh temptation. <laughs> Oh, get the dog off of me. Lord have mercy. I choose not to be married. Yeah, I could, I know, dude, I thought there was Evelyn Champagne King's older sister. I swear to God, that's why I looked, I was like, is that Evelyn Champagne King? Strong ass jawline. Carl Weathers looking. I'm like, well, I don't want to be too mean, but dang. <laughs> Y'all remember Evelyn Champagne King? When Evelyn Champagne King came out, people said that that was not a man. It was not a woman. Mad aggressive, dude. Mad aggressive. But I bet you she got a mean left hook. <laughs> I choose not to be married. <laughs> and you know what really pisses them off when you ask a question? Are you married? You can always tell when you get an aggressive woman and ask a question that triggers them. Because they repeat the question, because they're like, oh, how dare you? So when they repeat the question, what they're saying is, no, this mother sucker didn't. Are you married? Are you married? <laughs> <laughs> you know, she had to, oh, God, I'm going to hell for this. I'm going to hell for Y'all ever see Saw? Y'all ever see the movie Saw? Y'all remember the movie Saw uh, and Jigsaw? Jigsaw has those round circles on his face and then those sharp ass features. <laughs> Looking like Jigsaw. <laughs> Jigsaw up in this mud. Jigsaw with, with Rick James hair. Are you married? <laughs> no, sir, I'm not. <laughs> well, why are you asking me? <laughs> I just thought I'd ask. You know? Hmm. <laughs> You can't say that to me. I got a question for you. <laughs> Is that what, that's what was on the phone? <laughs> Is that not what was on there? <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell? Are you married? <laughs> Do you have issues with women? <laughs> Get the dog off me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Get the dog off of me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> mm. You can't make this shit up, man. <laughs> you married? Can you imagine rolling over there in the morning? I need to love it. <laughs> Give me some of that sexual chocolate i need some of that bjc gimme 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 oh oh give me some of that loving get off my hair get off my hair fido i'm trying to get some of that loving get off my hair before i put you outside well, somebody take the dog out. I'm trying to get it hit from the back. Get some. Oh, shit. Know who you're 
dealing with, I suggest you learn who you're dealing with before you start me. That's what I would say about that. I would say about... <laughs> oh, I need somebody to animate that shit. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Are you married? <laughs> Are you married? <laughs> well, no, ma'am, I'm not. <laughs> Understand, that one was a complete stranger to me. And I reflect back what people give me. She had an opportunity to come in and ask the question. But she came in with an intent to be a jerk. Because she's an upset woman and the things i say bother her because they're true they're true and i'm sorry ma'am <clears throat> if what i say bothers you now the prize is i'm going to start making announcements on the prize and the catch because what i'm going to start doing is putting oh and let me also say something about older women you have a lot of younger women. Uh, no, I have a bunch of women, period. But I don't have a lot of older women out because YouTube doesn't skew older. But in general, no one wants to hear a bunch of women who don't want to be reasonable. Okay? So, older women, I've had older women on my show who are perfectly reasonable but many are like you ma'am and no one wants to hear you we've heard you our entire life you're our grandmothers and our aunts you're some of the mothers you're the women in the neighborhood you're the woman at the checkout counter you're the woman in the drive through you're the woman in the customer service you're the woman in the credit department you are the caricature that troubles so many African-American women's overall image, being difficult, being honorary. We know you. And what bothers you is that we know you. We know you and you don't like that we know you. And what you do has worked for you because no one could actually say anything to you for the longest. Now people are starting to say, no, we don't want to talk to you. We've heard you. We've heard you, we've heard your bitterness, we've heard your anger, we've heard your facts, we've heard your statistics, and all that stuff doesn't work. You're at the end of the day, it's you, your dog, your point of view, and you're entitled to have that. But the rest of us are gonna go on and do something that makes us happy, a life with each other. So choosing not to be married, most people choose to be in a relationship. You got kids? Most people want to have a man, a husband with those kids. Not just a kid and a damn dog. So I stand by the things I say because I only reflect what you give me. <laughs> That's going to put Jigsaw to work. I'm about to put Jigsaw on the stroll. I'm about to put Jigsaw on the blade. Jigsaw going to be doing tricks. Jigsaw gonna be twerking on Jigsaw gonna be twerking on TikTok. Jigsaw gonna be twerking on Reels. Jigsaw gonna be twerking on YouTube. Jigsaw gonna be twerking on Twitter, on Facebook. Everybody, do me a favor. Before we go out, everybody put up the clown emojis. Put up the clown emojis, because that's the closest thing we got to Jigsaw. Put up the clown emojis and thank Jigsaw for the content. She, we're about to put Jigsaw in some $2 pumps and we're going to ride her ass like Trigger on the blade. Jigsaw going to be my bottom biznatch. I'm about to ride you like Willie Dynamite. I'm about to ride you like Willie Dynamite. That's right, Jigsaw. Anybody remember Willie Dynamite? Hold on. Come on, put your clown emojis up. Put the clown emojis up. We're going to ride her like Willie Dynamite. Willie Dynamite. Willie Dynamite. I love Willie. We gonna ride them like with it dynamite. Ride you like with it dynamite. It's okay, baby. You cool. Do what you want. I give you your release. We gonna ride you like with it dynamite. 
Put up the clown emojis. Rather like Willie. Go on, Willie. Go on, Willie. Come on, Willie. Yeah, get a Willie. <laughs> You mess with the right one, baby. You mess with the right one. You got to have vision, Willie. You got to have vision. You know what I'm saying? You got to have vision. Or you kind of run like a solitary rat. Willie Dynamite is one of the best pimp flicks ever. You got to have vision. Willie, Willie, Willie. What's wrong, Willie? <laughs> Come on. The heat. The heat's coming down, baby. Got to all together. I don't want to get copyright strike. Ride your ass like trigger, Jigsaw. Well, at least you got a dog to protect you while you're out there on the blade. Make sure you take your uh your dental uh your little denture guard so you make sure you get a hot throat. <laughs> Whoo! And no more of them, no more of them cheeseburger deals. I want my money. Don't be bringing back no cheeseburgers and no radios and no VCRs. I want cash, okay? 50 bucks, I want cash, all right? No s &H green stamps, no used EBT cards, no MCI, long distance calling cards. You know, sometimes you, you get a little up there in age, so they be trying to pay her at anything. They be paying her in trade and stamp, talking about, hey, take these down to Otasco or TGNY. Or you can buy this as service merchandise. Hey, and the last time you came in here with them Blockbuster coupons, Blockbuster been out of business for 20 years, Jigsaw. I cannot make nothing with Blockbuster coupons. You understand? So I'm going to need you to make sure you get your mind in the game, loosen that wig, and get some my cash. Cash. Coins will do, because we know you're getting on up there in age. You ain't getting premium prices like you used to, but hey. But no more coupons. And no more Groupons either. Mm -mm, none of that. Nope, nope, nope. And look, the last time somebody tried to talk to you about Bitcoin, it almost gave you a seizure. It almost gave your old ass a seizure, because you know, you ain't too tight. Bitcoin ain't for you. Bitcoin is for the young ones. You. You need some bits of coins. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, all right. Well, I better learn. You gonna learn next time. All right, then. Peace out. It's not hard.